welcome back guys to another episode of the Pentagon Challenge. In the previous episode you did see us leave the Young Lions where we built up most of our reputation of winning the league in the Singaporean League and uh, we moved across to China. We came to a club called Shenzhen who are a Chinese club that aren't the best, aren't the worst. They're kind of stuck in the middle, got very good finances and we're going to try and see what we can do with them, see what business we can pull up and hopefully just have a good season this year of developing players and then next year we bring in them Chinese players that we need. But we're going to show you two games today, one against uh, Shandong and one against uh, Yongzhou. So buckle up guys, it's going to be a tough one because these are two very, very strong sides. But let's get into it straight away. As you can see guys, we have got Shandong, they are playing at home, they are a very good side, they are a very rich side as well, estimated at 446 million. Uh, the players that they have got in their team are Zucci from Ajax or Chelsea that he's moved to now, and they also have the guy from Barcelona, Arujo, the one of the best upcoming centre arse in the game. They do have this man here as well. They brought him for 11 million, which is an absolute steal. So, yeah, they've got some very, very good players here that they've developed and also brought in. Have uh, they got anyone there? Is that Dalla Cruz? Yeah, that's Dalla Cruz as well. Fantastic team. Fantastic team. So, I'll just show you where we went, where we've come from. So, uh, we played Shanghai, lost the 1 0. That's what the one you saw. We then won the next match 4 3, lost two on the bounce. Then we beat uh, DL, DL Pro. And then we beat these guys as well, and then we lost uh, to Shen Hua. So we've got these two games here. We have changed the tactics as well. We have uh, we've got rid of the the diamond, and we just pushed a player up. This is kind of like the formation that I'm using in my Twitch channel. If you aren't guys, if you want to follow my Twitch channel, I stream every single day except for Wednesdays. Uh, the link will be in the description below. But we do do all football manager content, and we currently have a Braun Schweig save going on the go. So if you're interested in that, want to see that, feel free to give us a, a click and a follow and check out the content that is over there. But we're going to get into this one. Unfortunately, all our left left sided defenders are injured, so we've kind of got a mix mix match one with a uh, Tan Jianbin. Uh, he can kind of play there, but it's not his strong position. But we're we're going to stick with him and go with that. Another thing that we did is we brought in Andre Silva. We got him on a free, which was absolutely unreal. But we have had to sacrifice one of our non-Chinese players for this player. So we took him on. Unfortunately, he's unavailable. He's only 26. He is injured for two to four weeks. So we can't use him for a bit. But for me, that's a fantastic signing. We Like I say, we have sacrificed one of our non-Chinese players. But... I think that's worth it. If we can get a good attacking force, the rest, and go for the play of, I'm just going to score one more goal than you. Like if you score two, we're going to score three. If you score three, we're going to score four. And just build an unbelievable attack. And then just go from there. So that's that's kind of the plan. But this is the team that we're going to go with. We are playing the 4-3-1-2, uh, if you want to call it that. It seems to be working well. We did change from the, the diamond shape. That's why we got the two losses after the diamond shape. I was like, hmm, need need some more here. We we didn't score any goals, so I was like, we need some more attacking flair. So we, we moved the DM up a little bit to try and influence him to play more football and go with that way. But we are going to head straight into the game. So we play Shandong. Away, away to him as well. They've got a very full state, well, not full, but a very packed stadium compared to what we were playing with before. But hopefully, we can get it, get a result at this end. Well, we do pick up the ball up in the middle. We lose it though. Zhang gets the ball. Can make a powerful run. It's technically a two on two, but he's just outpaced every single player. Should have, if he put that ball across the box, it would have been one nil then. But luckily, the goalkeeper makes a brilliant save. Tries to play a cross in, but it gets blocked, and we they get a corner. Remember, the goalkeeper's not the best here, so if he doesn't claim the ball, I, it, it's because the goalkeeper's not very good. As the ball comes whipping in, and it's a great header. It's a bar, though, but we get away with that. It's two let-offs there, two big let-offs straight away, and it's only been like seven minutes. Three, three minutes. There's not been a lot of action, but we get a free kick, like, deep into our like that area. It comes from nothing. It's a good win. They just clear it up, though. We're going to probably break on this again. It's just a clear, it's just a big goof up there. As uh, Tang gets the ball, passes it to Min. 
oh, he tries a, he tries a silly ball, it just doesn't work. Uh, they, they could potentially counter-attack, but once again, it's another hoof up the field to no one for them. So we get it. Salcedo plays it over the pot to Delon. Delon, can he get a whip in? Oh, he can't. It's a great block, and they're going to break on us now. Dela Cruz, that guy we, we pointed out earlier, guys, using his pace. Absolute bombing past every single person. But plays it, poor shot into the keeper's hands. We'll take that though. Fang howls onto it. It's good handling from the player, from the goalkeeper there. Another free kick comes in. They play it short this time. I thought they were going to go long. It's an absolute brilliant ball over to Zivic. It's a good tackle though by Tan. Oh, he, he gets it back though. Uh, Wang Tong gets the ball. It's a good cross in. Salcedo. Poor header away. He gets the ball, but it's a poor header away. I think it's going to lead to a goal though. As oh, so he puts the ball in. It's a good clear, it's a very brave tackle as well. We got away with that. Just on the halfway line, we get a free kick though. So Salcedo plays it short. Min plays it to Feng. Plays a good ball to Jian Chao. It's a ball. It's an absolute screamer. First goal of the season. Let's go. Jian Chao with an absolute thunderous strike. Bottom corner, out the way of the out to reach the goalkeeper. We'll absolutely take that. We it's so undeserved. We've only had the one shot. We've not been playing well. We've managed to keep possession well, but other than that, we've done absolutely shocking. Every single highlight has basically been them. But well, that's a great finish. That is a absolute fantastic finish. Yeah, you pump it up, kiddo. You pump it up. What a strike. On the on the stroke of half time as well. As there you go. Half time, one nil up. We've been the poorer team, I'm not going to lie, but they have got the better side. That's a, that's the thing that I'm looking at here. They are the better team, so... Whew, we've got a lot of work and a lot of pressure to soak up in this next half to get a win. If we go, if we get a draw, I'll be happy with that, I think, at the minute, but... We need a better performance in the second half. So what I'm going to do is just be a bit assertive here and just go, I'm not happy with the performance. Try and fire them up. Straight away, they get a free kick. It's on the It was a good whip in for Del Cruz. I've got two players just standing there, though. Two players just standing there. I don't know if that's... I, I've seen that, like, more than once, so I need to have a look at that and see what's going on there. As a poor, very poor pass back leads to a break for us. Souza, can he get it in? Oh, he's our he's the top goal scorer of the league as well. You wouldn't think that, would you? Absolutely. He should have buried that. He had so much time to think about where he's going and composure, but he just bottled it. As he get a throw from the right-hand side, it's a good header in. So it's a good cross in, headed away from Salcedo. Diego Sousa gets the ball again. He's going to run at him. Can he do something better this time? Plays it across. It, it's the keeper on the chest. A unique save, but anything can happen in China. Anything that can happen. As the corner comes in, a good whip in. It's a great header away. They're going to hit us on the counter attack. It's a great clearance as well. Oh, Dolan with a fantastic, fantastic tackle, but just gets nothing. Does a, does a circle. The, the striker doesn't confuse our play. It's not hard to do that when they're poor players. A uh, good cross in and across. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. So that's, uh, I think that's the third game in a row that we've conceded a penalty. It's uh, interesting to see. More corruption here as well, like we said before, than the Singaporean League. But yeah, another... It's always against the rich clubs, if you notice. We play Shanghai, a rich club. We play Shandong, a rich club. And they get the penalties. No comments. Don't want the Mafia involved. They pick the ball up on the right hand side. They're going to break with it. Zerich gets the ball up to there. The Wang Tong. I feel like they're just pacing. They're just so fast, the players are, compared to ours. Uh, a good save again from the keepers. Kept his in at this. He was kind of straight at him, but he did well. They're going to get a corner on the right hand side, though. Hopefully, we can deal with this. Put a bit of a hit on the counter attack as Dela Cruz puts a ball in. It's a good header from uh, Arejo. As we get the goal kick, Feng plays it out wide to Dallon. We'll take that, it's nice. Salcedo gets the ball though. Nothing silly, nothing silly. Feng gets the ball. It's a big goof up. I don't think it's going to anyone. Oh, and I thought we got the ball. I thought Fang got the ball then, but this is this is why I try not playing 3D, honestly. Sometimes the, the animations of 3D is really poor and some things you see is just crazy. <laughs> there's a good save though by the goalkeeper there. Salcedo puts it out for another corner. If in doubt, knock it out. As the ball comes in, it's another good header from Suso there. Gets it clear. Lin's going to get the ball. Good I thought we were going to put pressure on him. 80th minute throw in from the left-hand side. We've gone for the long throw option. Uh, we have got players who have got good long throws, but obviously it's kind of backfired on his ear. As they're going to run down the left-hand side. Pace as well. Ah, oh, dived in. Good goal, kiddo. Oh, he's missed it. Honestly, that animation there just instantly saw for goal, which is wasn't the best thing to do, but... Nah. 
As the Cruz gets the ball in, Suso again with the clearance. Just oofs it out. If in doubt, like they say, if in doubt, knock it out. A free kick though to us on the edge of our area. It's a big oof up there. Yang is going to get the ball. Can he use his pace to uh, skip past a few players and get a whip in? He's still got the ball though. He gets tackled, but still gets the ball. That's a poor, poor cross. You can see when the difference between our Chinese players and our like professional, like, well, I shouldn't say professional, but our like uh, non Chinese players are unbelievable. It's so bad. Like they can't even put a pass in or a cross in. And there's the goal. Once again, poor defending there from our players. The Chinese guy, the Chinese right back, can't get out, can't get to the ball. Really poor marking, really poor like anticipation of what's going on. And it just leads to the goal. There's a big massive change up that needs with these Chinese players if we want to achieve, achieve anything. But yeah, they are really poor. Misses the header. I think that was Salcedo that misses the header. But really, really poor goal to concede there. In the 86th minute as well. Kind of a kick in the teeth that we didn't need. We took the lead as well, but poor, very poor effort this game. And there you have it, guys. 2-1. We didn't get any highlights after that. Fully deserved from them. They had five clear-cut chances. They should have put more than two away. They had 23 shots and 14 on target. We've come to this team, and we've, we're have we in, like, a situation where we really need to evaluate every single thing here. The Chinese players in this team are absolutely garbage compared to the other Chinese players that were playing in this league. So we need to build the reputation of this team and also the reputation of uh, our manager to get these better Chinese players in. And that's all we're going to spend money on this this time. We'll probably bring in another striker that's highly clinical, that's well known. Like we have Andre Silva. Unfortunately, he's injured. But if we bring another striker in that's good, good as his level, then we've got a real good strike force and then we work on just the Chinese players. We still have got a lot of money in the bank. It's like like 50 million in the bank so we have got money to bring players in in the transfer window so that's the best thing that we're going to do but for the time being guys we've just got to see this see this season out and try and build on what we've got we've got to get mid table which is like eighth eighth ninth seventh we've got to got to achieve that which i think is doable some of the teams below us aren't playing that well so we can get get some good wins on there like say we play third then and these boys have got like anyone in this top four have got a lot of money so it's really difficult for to get a result against these guys or get something good with the plays that they are throwing at us but we'll get into the second game against uh guang kong and see how we get on against them so the second game guys we are playing guangzhou i got i think i got the name wrong last time i put a g on the end there but it's a uh, guangzhou a very famous side for being highly highly rich in the uh the chinese chinese league we're just going to quick pick here just a sec just to get them out there the uh as you can see here we've got a lot of injuries for some for some reason uh then we've got a lot of suspensions as well so this is going to be a real difficult one because we've not got our best players in here so we're just kind of going go with the flow and see what happens i can't i can't see a good result here i really can't too many players out, too many suspensions, too many injuries. So have a look, see who they've got here, who we can recognise. Uh, they got Izzo's in here, okay, okay. Uh, Tyus Browning, wow, really? I didn't know he'd, uh, he's there, really. Fernandinho, obviously the, the winger. The Brazilian, uh, Alkson as well, oh my days. Yeah, they've got a good side. They've got a good side. Just let's, let's, let's just sit quietly. Try not, try not get embarrassed by the, the score line this could potentially be. <laughs> okay, so 15 minutes in and we're not doing too bad. We get a free kick just on the inside of that area. It's a great clearance or like a great switching ball to Yan. Grant gets the ball in. Jang Chao. Jang Chao again. That's his second goal in two games. Get in there. It's a great little finish that is. I don't know what's going on here but... Absolute fantastic start. We've had four shots and four on target. Only had the forty-seven percent possession though, but it's a cracking start to the to the game. Sixteen minutes in, and we we managed to get a goal. It's a great, uh, I'll say, free kick. Yeah, it was in inside that area. We played it across the ball, big switch, and Kuan just played the ball across, and it was a great finish by Jan. As they get a free kick now inside our it was off. It's a big looping ball in. But luckily, we get the winner away there. Izzo picks up the ball, plays it back to Fernandinho. He's going to work his magic, I think. He tries a shot. It's a good block. Can we put pressure on this? As they continue the attack, some very, very smooth, short passing play there. It was lovely to see. Absolutely brilliant play from him. Ball goes wide, though. Throw in from the right-hand side. It's a long throw. We do love a long throw. Ball bounces around. It's a good save from the keeper. Good reaction save. He should be doing better than that. There was a big gap to the keeper's right-hand side that he could have just slotted away. But we'll take the corner. 
There's a good whip comes in. Browning with a brilliant header. They're going to break. Oh, that's a professional foul. We'll take that. As long as it's not a red card, it's just a warning. We'll take that. A professional foul. Very clever. Stops the build-up play from that attack. And we regroup and uh, reassess how we play this. Half time. I'll take this. We are the better side here. We've had nine shots, nine on target, 52% possession. We really do look the better side here. They've had a couple of like set piece chances that they've potentially done well with, but other than that, they've not really come at us or tried to like break us down at all. So we'll take that and we'll go into the second half and take the positives. I'm gonna say I um we've got to guard against complacency and get the job done. That seems the best the best option there. We've got a good motivation, a good greenness out of all of them except for one player which we will take 86 minute for the first highlight of the second half is a cross coming in from them and I, I don't even know what to say so we did not get a highlight for the full for 40 minutes we didn't get a highlight and uh, that is the highlight that we get once again guys this is why we don't watch in 3d on twitch if you do want to see the link to the twitch channel though it's just down below stream every single day except for wednesdays why didn't he just do that ball out i do not know but it's one of them things as i like to call it fm doing fm things why did he just clear that ball we get a long throw in though on the left hand side can we potentially do this because of the fm oh are they gonna don't do this to me pressure on him pressure on him it's a big goof up can we can we get a goal back we deserve it after that FM cheese that we just saw there as Wang gets the ball. Please it's into Yuang. Min gets it. It's a good ball back to Yuang. A good cross in. Oh, it's a good header away though. Salonese gets the ball. Yan back to Min. So, oh, I thought he was going to make a good run in, run in there. Wang gets the ball in. Good header again away from the ball. Wang gets it again. Good cross in. Can we? It's there. Get in there. Yang. Jiang Yang gets the ball fully, fully deserved there. With the FM cheese that happened, I felt like there was got to be a goal coming. We've got to be rewarded for that. And we did. Uh, kind of a miss, miss like understanding in the box there with their players. Look at that, like a bit of a scramble. We we, we, we get the ball, Browning slips up there, and uh, Yang is on the end of that to get us potentially a winner here. So what I do, guys, is when I'm just trying to see how to game, I always take counter press and counter off. So I put regroup, hold shape, and then I will uh, lower that tempo down. So we are not rushing, and we're just playing it, playing it out. We're not counter attacking. We're not over committing, and we just see the game out. A fantastic win there against a very, a very strong side. And we, like I say before, guys, we know how much money these guys can spend on on their team because they are a mega mega rich country and they are second in the league and we just took three points off them over the moon people had it written off they certainly did we're going to give them a passionate well done and that's going to be the end of the episode guys we are building this team up and it's we're getting so it's like a bit like our young line started 50 50 we win one we lose one we're back and forth until we find a fit in and we find that structured side and who is the go-to people to to play into this team but yeah guys if you didn't like the episode please leave a like and uh, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell it gives you a notification when my videos go live but if you do want to see more content like i say guys my twitch channel is linked below I stream every single day except for wednesday's football manager content just have a look down below and you'll see it there but guys once again i do appreciate you joining me on this journey i'm having a fantastic time on this journey i hope you are too i'll catch you all next time Bye bye